Hey, Paco here. So many years ago I made a video about how to make baskets out of thin blackberry vines. And ever since then, people ask me, well, what about if you have really thick ones like these ones? So, after many years of not getting around to it, I'm going to show you how to make baskets out of big, thick blackberry vines like this. Now the first thing we need to do is clear off all the thorns and all these side branches. Now to do this, we need a specialized tool called a stick. And all you do is you take your stick and you just rub it around it like this. And we've knocked off all the thorns in that section already. Uh, that's all you have to do. So you just keep going up and down. The reason the thorns hurt so bad is because they don't flex, which is also the reason they come off so easily. So as you go, and just back and forth on it, the thorns will just come right off. So they're not as dangerous as you think. I actually do this part a lot of times without even using gloves. Uh, yeah, but once they're gone, it's, these things are really easy to work with. And once you have a good arm's length or so, you just come along and you cut a piece off like this. Now before we go any further, let me give you a quick biology lesson. A blackberry vine is made up of four main layers. You got the outer bark, and that's the green or the red on the outside. It's like the outside skin of the blackberry. Then you have the inner bark, and that is like a fibrous layer that is what you can actually make cordage out of. It's usually like a greenish tannish color. And then you have the woody section. That's what gives it its rigidity. And then right in the center you have the spongy pith. And those are the main parts of the blackberry vine. And here's how those layers look in real life. You can see you have the inner bark right here. I've scraped away some of that outer bark right like that. Uh, then you have that woody section I was telling you about, and then there is that pith. Now for these baskets, we're not going to use the entire vine. We're only going to use the outer bark and the inner bark. And all the center part we're going to get rid of. So to do that, we're going to split the blackberry vine in half. We're going to take the knife and we're going to come along and we're going to cut it in half like this. Now watch out for your hand. Uh, there are ways to keep this from being too dangerous if you use your fingers as a buffer so the knife can't slip too far. But you just come along and cut it roughly in half. If it starts going too far one way or the other, like it's not staying equal, uh, you can turn the knife a little bit and start cutting more towards the center again. And you want to start from the fat end of the blackberry vine and go towards the skinny end. Now we have two halves. So to make the basket we want, we're only going to use the bark, and that's both the outer and the inner bark together. So to do that, we're going to start off by on the fat end of the blackberry vine. We're going to break this to start. This is just so we can start separating the bark from the inner part. And what we have now is the outer and inner bark together, and then the center piece. So then we're going to continue bending the center piece away, sometimes using your finger as a lever to pull it better. But we're just going to pull it away the entire length of the blackberry vine, and we're going to discard the center piece and we're going to keep the bark. And sometimes a piece will break off like that, which is fine because we don't need the center piece anyways. Throw it away and just come back and keep pulling the center piece away. 
Now one thing to note is that if you're trying to separate the bark from the inner part and it is not um, separating very well, it may be that it's too late in the season or you need to find a different patch. Uh, there should be a, somewhat of a, it should be somewhat wet between the bark and the inner part. Uh, if it's not, then it's probably too dry. That happens over the season. That's why you can only do this in the uh, probably late spring to early summer. A good rule of thumb is that if there are uh, flowers growing on the blackberry vines, then that is a good time to collect the, the bark. And now what we have is a large piece of bark that we can definitely use to make into a basket. Then you're going to want to do this probably six more times or so for the basket I'm going to show. And now that I've got a good handful of bark, it's time to go make it into a basket. So for this part, you're going to want some sort of flat surface to work on. So now we've cut all the blackberries. The next thing is we need to cut them into the right length. Which I've already done. Uh, it's about one arm's length or so. Uh, this is going to be the pieces that you're going to use for the base of the basket. Um, what I have is eight pieces um, and so we're going to take four of them and lay them this way and then the other four we're going to lay this way. Now to do that we are going to take the first one and we're going to go over the first one under the next, over the next, and under the next, like so. Then we're going to take the next piece and we're going to go under the first, over the next, under, over, like that. Then we're going to repeat that again. We're going to go over, under, over, under. And then, you guessed it, under, over, under, over. Just those somewhat, so they're about in the middle. And now we have the base of our basket. Okay, for the next piece we need a smaller piece of blackberry vine. This is too thick, so we're going to separate this bark into smaller pieces. So, I'm going to tear along there, so we have a piece that is approximately that thick. And just go down the entire length, which might take a while because I have some quite thick pieces. Now you'll get to places that have uh, knots or branches that came off the side. Uh, if it's getting too thin you can kind of push it one direction or the other depending on how you tear it. Uh, but you want relatively equal length all the way down. Now there is the outer bark and the inner bark. Try and protect the, the outer bark is the darker stuff. If you can, keep the outer bark as part of it. It will look better, but if you don't get the entire length, that's alright. Ta-da! So this is going to make up the bottom and sides of the basket. So the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, start weaving it together. To do that, we're going to use these thinner pieces, which we're going to call the weavers. Now the first thing to do is to fold one of these weavers in half. Now when you do this, you want to leave one side longer than the other, and that will become important later. So it's folded in half. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the side of 
one of the bas oh, the first spoke of the basket and we're going to put it on both sides. Now we want the outer bark to be on the outside of the basket. So for this first weaver, we're going to fold it upside down like that, give it a half twist so that the bark, outer bark will be on the outside. Now this one's going to now go underneath the second spoke of the basket like that. Now this one's on the bottom. We are going to now lay it over the top and go under the next spoke. Like so. And then we have this one's on the bottom. So now we're going to pull that over the top and go over the next go under the next spoke. And as you do this, you can pull things a little tighter. So you want things to be relatively snug. All right, for the next one, we have the bottom one. It's gonna go over the top. And it's going to go under the next one on the next side. And this is where we can start folding things up a little bit. And then this one's on the bottom, so it goes over and goes under. And this is a technique called twining. And we're just going to keep that going until we get all the way around. Now one of my thin pieces is starting to get pretty short. So to fix that, I just grab another thin piece and I just lay it next to it and then I keep the pattern going for a couple of weaves and by doing that we are locking it into place come back later and cut that piece off. Now I find it's actually easier if you're standing while doing this part when you're just going back and forth uh, because then you can hold the basket against your body to help uh, form the shape of it. Um, but figure out what works best for you. So now we've got the basket to the size we want it. Uh, the, now it's time to finish it off. So what we need to do is we need to cut off this weaver like that and then what we need to do is we're going to tuck it in to the inside. We're going to tuck it in between some of the weaves we've already made. So to help me with that I am going to use a stick that I've sharpened specifically for that purpose and I'm going to stick it between the weavers give it some space and then I'm going to tuck that down between the ones that I've already done and so what we have now is we have that piece, we're just pulling it tight to go in there. And that is now locked in place. So the last one we're going to go around one more time. Going to cut it off at an angle and do the same thing with that one. Slip it inside. We slide it down in between. Pull it tight. And now our two weavers have been locked into place. And now it's time to finish off the basket. So 
to start that, we need to take these side ones, and we're going to cut them off. We want to do it at an angle, like that. Okay. So now we have the top taken care of. Now something that can help to tighten everything up is if you take the sides of the and you just pull up on them it will tighten all of your weaving so that the entire basket will be all cinched together so that all the weaves get really close together. Now the next step is we are going to fold these over and then lock them into place. So you can see here that I've already tucked some of the sides down underneath some of the weavers. So we're going to do that again on the other side. So you can see this one here. We're going to skip this top weaver. We're going to go under the next two weavers. So again, using a stick to kind of pull those out a little bit. And then you just fold this over go over the top of that top weaver and then underneath the next two weavers. It's a little bit hard sometimes, especially when you're trying to film it at the same time. There, I got it. And then you just pull it tight. And that is now locked into place trim off anything we don't like. And of course all these on the inside can be trimmed now. So there you have it, a basic Himalayan blackberry bramble basket made from the bark of an invasive species here in the Pacific Northwest, which means you can collect as much of this as you want. And that is about it. So until next time, bye. Wind, 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 we want wind.